Herald Standard presents the game of the week. This week, Beth Center at Frazier. On first possession, the Frazier Commodores charge down the field for the first touchdown in this epic rivalry. Quarterback Hunter Patterson to wide receiver Ethan Weiser. The extra point is muffed, no good. But the Bulldogs give Frazier a do-over by committing a penalty. 7-0, Frazier. But the Bulldogs would waste no time. Anthony Welsh carries his team down the field. A few plays later, Nico Brown makes it 6 and John Bedar makes it 7. The tensions were high in front of a packed stadium and this altercation would send a slew of players to the showers. Patterson with a fake handoff would sneak it in for Frazier's second touchdown of the night. But 33 would show that Beth Center came to play. This 65 plus yard run would make the score even. If it weren't for the penalty. But Johnny Sofran would make it right and put six on the board. But six would be all the Bulldogs would earn on this drive. This game lives up to its billing as the points climb in the third. Patterson for the touchdown. A field fake extra point makes this game 20 to 13. The fourth quarter heats up when 33 Welsh scores once again for the Bulldogs. Two point conversion for the lead. It seemed like this game was destined for a razor finish until this pitch by number one Chris Pierce ended up in strange hands. Tommy Strauss with the game changer. That turnover turned into points and those points turned into a game. Beth Center 29, Frazier 20. Dave Stoff, check with the Herald Standard Online here with Beth Center coach Ed Woods and uh, number 33 Anthony Welsh running back. Best center come from behind, 29-20 victory tonight. Uh, big Tri-County South contest. Coach Woods, um, what can you say about your team? Down most of the game, but a big comeback in the fourth quarter. Well, I'm very proud with the way that, you know, I'm proud with the way that they, you know, they never did quit. Um, you know, they gave everything they had until the end, and, and you know, we ended up coming out with a victory. Um, Tony, if I could just ask you a question. Uh, big play on that third down. It looked like you were stopped. Um, can you just talk about that play? Um... Yeah, uh, <clears throat> kind of the hole just closed up, and uh, somehow I broke broke away and just tried to get as much as I could for get the first down for the team. Um, it's it's a big win for us. I mean, be, just because uh, Beth Center and Frazier, we got uh, the rival between us. With Frazier coach Mike Steber, um, after a close 29-20, a hard-fought game with Beth Center, Frazier, you guys come up on a short end tonight. Um, what did you talk to the team about afterwards? We can't dwell on what happened here tonight. Uh, Carl Michaels is coming here in here next week. Um, they beat us last year. You know, we need to fight hard and, and regroup and, and uh, get ready for next week and, and fight for a home playoff spot.